Alright, and welcome to the... the final. I don't like to call it a finale. I actually can't stand that word. It's weird. Word choices bother me. I... I think I've said it before. A lot of my favorite comedians have... Like, the reason I find them funny is because they use, like, really clever... word choices... to tell jokes instead of just saying what you would normally say. It's like, you know, really go with the sources, I guess. But... That's besides the point, so this is the the last episode. Unless there's more DLC as I put in the very fantastical little text intro. That intro is actually a throwback to the Japanese Dark Souls PvP videos. Because they would I didn't do it like on the bottom or whatever, but if you ever get your hands on some of those, like through Nico Nico or if someone on YouTube actually puts them up. CoughSansV.com. I wish he would come back. Was it .com? I can't remember. But SansV was amazing. I miss that. I miss that dude just doing things and helping us out. But anyway. So, yeah. They kind they always start those videos with like a little song or something. And the, as I get stepped on. Uh, with a little song. And it's usually like some RPG or anime or something like that. And then they have the... Whatchamacallit? The... Uh, the text, it's always, like, kind of at the bottom, and it's got, like, different... It's usually, like, green outlines or purple or something. It's just... I went pretty basic, but... Anyway, so... I originally recorded commentary to go with this... This part, the Ancient Dragon part. And I was gonna make that one whole episode. is just me fighting this thing over and over. And I die... A few times? And I run back, and I keep the camera rolling the whole time. And I thought... And I had audio going with it, but then, like, when I thought about it after I ended it, I was like, I don't really want that audio, because I was... This is only a couple hours after the fact, but, like, when I recorded that audio, I wasn't in the... The best of moods. And so I'm trying to have this one be... I'm trying to have this one be just a lot better. Hopefully. Uh, but... Uh, ah, stutters, but yeah. So, this fight really taught me why Let's Playing Dark Souls as a whole is hard for me. Is because I cannot multitask to save my life. And I mean, you can probably hear that in post commentary how like I get distracted by what's on screen and whatnot, but I'm probably explaining something here in the original commentary, but anyway, the. Since I can't multitask, I can't talk and play at the same time. And it takes me two attempts on this boss the moment I stop talking to kill it. And I think I screw up and that's why the first one kills me. But yeah, and then we fight another boss later. And I almost killed it the first time. And then I beat it the second time, no problem pretty much. Well, I can't say no problem, I almost died once or twice, but... Which isn't abnormal, but it's like, just being able to concentrate on what's happening is so much easier for me. And there's actually a very big pattern to tell with this guy, which I will see when I actually kill it, but... Where you want to stand is... Kinda back where I'm at, but you actually want to stand near his tail. Like, you... It's easier to hit his legs, so you get, like, the leg shots first. And then you just kind of run back to his tail, and then the way he turns to like use the fire breath from the from the air is he. If you're standing at his back legs, when he flies up, he usually puts you under his chest, and you don't have a whole lot of time to run to escape it. But if you stand, if you do, if you do what I end up killing him with, I don't know if this is the general game plan. This is what I ended up coming up with, and I'm using the flower shield, was it the blossom kite shield? I can't remember what it's called, but I'm using that just to get more stamina because there's no point to blocking. I'm lightweight with some fire-resistant hexer pants because I mean, fi I think these are hexer pants. I already switched them at some point, but the the fire defense is really all you need, and the lightweight. Like you don't even need the fire defense. I don't think I get hit after I get it down, but. Yeah, so when you stand at his tail, you can see he doesn't actually do like a 180 or like a huge back jump. He just kind of turns 90 degrees 
And if you're standing at his tail and he turns 90 degrees, you just kind of follow him. And you get all the time in the world to really outrun the, the fire breath. So that once I kind of picked up on that, it made the fight a lot easier. But yeah, this... I actually got pretty annoyed fighting this guy in the original commentary. And I was talking about how I don't like the, oh my god, I one-shot you. But I'm a really long fight boss, but I'm also kind of... I'm not that difficult. I don't like that as a design. Just... I don't like getting one-shot. I mean, I don't get one-shot by this thing because I'm way over-leveled. And I'm... Honestly, over-geared. Like, you don't get Flame Quartz Ring plus three in the, the original game. And... You don't fight... You probably won't fight him at level 154, whatever I'm at right here. So... He normally one-shots you. So it's not, it's really not too bad, but it's, I don't like one-shot fights, it's just, or if they are, I like them to be kind of short, but anyway, so, yeah, I originally told a story about a friend of mine, and I guess I'll retell that one, and I'll keep it kind of short, but before I do that, where I've been is, and I apologize for the pretty long absence, honestly. I know that's kind of frustrating. I don't know if you guys get frustrated, but like I've some of my let's players that I follow over the years, they've uh, like I've I've seen them take long hiatuses during a series or like after a series or something like that. And it's just like I want content, but I mean it's I understand why stuff happens, and these are people with like thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of. I really forget that you can just get crushed by the tail right there. It's really important to top off because he's not quite one-shotting me. So being at full health is actually... Oh, this is the best. That was the best death. <laughs> I might actually... Re nah, I thought about rearranging the video and putting that at the front, but that's... I, I think it's, this isn't too far in, but that's... I, I actually laughed a lot the first time that happened. Um... But yeah, so, just stuff happens. I, that little quick channel update that I posted a little bit ago, which only a few people saw, but, or I mean, actually viewed according to YouTube. I'm not upset that no one looked at it, obviously, but the, what I said in there that some of you might not be aware of is I got sick a little bit ago. It was just a cold, but it's really hard to do commentary when you're coughing and you're stuffed and all that, so... Um, I leave this here because I'm about to get invaded. So, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> but there was that, and then I had a midterm for my math class, and I got a 97, which was top score, so I was very happy about that. And I normally don't like to brag about that shit, but I'm just. I'm, kind of, I'm saying it because I spent like a week and a half kind of to myself. Like, I, I saw my girlfriend. I talk to my friends every now and then, but, like, I really spent most of that week, like, however many, like, nine days or whatever, just to myself. I didn't, I played a few games, like, I played Destiny for a little bit, and uh, Hearthstone, I started getting back into Hearthstone, I played that a little bit, and I watched some streams and whatnot, but for the most part, I was, no matter what I was doing... I had my math website open, and I was just doing problems in between what I was doing, on, but like besides dedicated studying. So I, w I was doing a lot of work, and that was up through last Monday. Not this. It wasn't. Was it? No, it was last week. Okay, so it was the third. The third was my midterm. There you go. So yeah, and that's that was pretty much the reason for the the absence for a little bit. I'd run out of recorded content, and I could have started uploading another Let's Play. I have two... two more? I have two more that are actually done that I recorded, like, last year that I could have just started uploading, but I figured I'd just kind of keep it to what I have right now. And I did stream. I streamed a little bit. Oh, here we go. This guy actually invades me a second time when... and he's nice. He lets me kill this thing. I thought about putting my gear back on, but I was like, he's probably going to whoop my ass anyway. I thought about weapon buffing, but then he ends up buffing. I didn't want to waste time. But the... 
yeah, so... What was I saying? I... Oh yeah, I was streaming a little bit, and that was kind of fun. I got... I have people... I have like a small little fan base that shows up to watch Xenoblade Chronicles, and they're all really cool people. I have a couple people who just drop in a lot of tips and kind of backseat game. And I get sniped by the priest up there, obviously, and so he kind of backs up. He's like, let's... This is why I think this guy's really cool. He's like, hold on, let's, let's get out of here so you don't get shot by that dude over and over, so... I got a... I got a text that's from my girlfriend. I'm gonna put my phone on silent and answer. I'll answer in a minute. But, yeah, so... Anyway. Oh, I'm already dead. <laughs> I feel like I could have killed him if I hit him once. I played really bad. I'm not even gonna act like I'm any good at this game, but I could... I think if I hit him, I would have stunned him, because he doesn't look like he's wearing a lot of armor. And I probably could have killed him. So, that's what I think. I'll never know. But I go AFK with the camera off at the fog gate. Like, in between when I ended the original Let's Play episode and then when I come back and kill this thing. And that guy actually invaded and killed me again at the door. Because I went and I was doing something and I came back and I was like, why am I at the bonfire? And I checked my recent players list and it said he was just in my game. So I was like, oh, there you go. Yeah, so I think I die one more time, two more times to him. But I think I understand the fight after this one, and I think the next time I die, I just I do something stupid, and then I kill him. But yeah, so... Xenoblade's been pretty fun. So... I had one of my longtime subs... I, wanna say, I, I think he's been a sub of mine for about a year. His name is Ghost Trickster. He, he's been watching my Zelda Let's Play, and he... Uh, when I put up the stream archive from Twitch, he said that I should... It's like, I really wish this was a blind run from the start as a let's play and that would have been really cool but I mean you, know, you got super big names like Chugga Conroy doing it and not that I even watch him I don't have a problem with him I just out of the let's players that I follow I don't I just don't have a lot of time to watch him I'm not really interested in him I feel kinda bad I'm not trying to talk trash because he's very successful, which it might sound like that, and I'm like jealous or anything like that. I'm not. I do YouTube for myself. This is just a hobby so I can kill time because I'm someone that needs projects to do or I really get I get really irritable when I have nothing to do and if I have free time and I'm just sitting at the house or something like that, I get really just irritable and it's not good. And so this started as a way for me to enjoy myself, because I always thought Let's Plays were cool, and as I said before, to give me just little projects to do. So, to get my mind off stuff, and people and people seem to enjoy it, so I'm okay with that, but with Chugga and well, I can't say Chugga, honestly. I haven't watched enough of this stuff to say this, but I think he says something that I've heard in like other videos and <laughs> this really drives me banana sandwich is anytime you need to say and let's get started or let's do this or something like that anytime you have to start something with that you are trying way too fucking hard to do something and I just I don't I don't like it I don't like people being fake you know I don't like fake reactions I don't like fake hype I don't like fake just whatever in situations most of the time, I don't like girls wearing makeup because I think it's fake. Uh, just, you know, little things like that. That's personal philosophy. I don't like being told what to think. Like, I don't like someone making something purposely badass just for the sake of being badass. So I go, oh god, that's badass. I don't like being told what to think. I like to be presented facts and make my own decisions. So, that's just a little bit about me, but... We switched to the Hexer's Robe, too. We, we stack more fire defense. And it's noticeable, actually, because we put on a little bit more fire defense. And the fire breath goes from doing, like, putting me to, like, 2% of my HP to, like, 10 or 15 or something like that. So it's actually, it's really noticeable. 
and this is me trying to test out the pattern to trigger where to stand, because this is when I discovered I could just stand back here. And I think he kills me one more time, so that's just because I get stupid. And I'm trying to figure out how many times I can hit him. And like, oh my god, see this is, I already noticed it here, where it's just like, oh this is so much easier. But, anyway, so yeah, I was, you know, I was informed that I could do, uh, how does this video last an hour? Let me double check, oh, shit, I almost did something really stupid. Let me double check real quick, this is an hour, right? Yeah, it's an hour, holy crap. But anyway, hmm, yeah, so the... He was like, oh, you could have did this blind, but I really don't want to do a huge, in-depth JRPG like that as a blind let's play. Because, I mean, my episodes go to between 25 to 45 minutes normally, and I would probably let them run a little longer, and it's like, there would be so much editing, just cutting out fights and whatnot, and cutscenes. I learned with Bioshock Infinite that when, because that's another Let's Play I have recorded, which is probably coming soon, um, but having cutscenes and verbal dialogue in between what you're doing really breaks up your own momentum when you're trying to explain stuff and talk, and it's like, I'll be in the middle of something, it's like, oh, hold on, let me explain this real quick, and or let me listen, and then it just, it breaks up the rhythm, and that's the same thing with Dark Souls, where there's no real cutscenes, but dying? really throws off momentum, so that's why I wanted to do these boss fights as post-commentary, so there you go. Yeah, anyway. Um... What was I saying? Oh, my friend. Oh, look at that fire defense. Look how much that helped. Just compare from when I got hit before to when I got hit now, so there you go. Yeah, the, uh... Okay, so I was... I have a friend that likes fighting games. I have a few friends that like fighting games, but I mean, I have one friend that really likes anime fighting games, like Blaze Blue and stuff. I like Blaze Blue. And he has always been trying to get me and some of my other fighting game friends to play anime fighting games. And we have always played like Capcom fighting games. That's just what we grew up on. So we play Marvel, Street Fighter, you know, like those are the games we have played, we have enjoyed. We kind of dabble in anime every now and then, but mostly we stick to the Capcom stuff. And this guy always asked, like, he used to always ask us to go play anime fighting games at his place or whatever. And there's a couple times where we did, you know, we had fun and whatnot, but he, he never wanted to play Street Fighter or play Marvel, and we didn't really pressure him to do it, but he would always do this thing where he would go, Well, I mean, I'm just sitting here playing these games by myself, and he'd, like, try and guilt trip us, and it's like, Stop! It's you choose to play those, <laughs> and I get. Oh my god, that looks hilarious! But it's like you choose to play those. We choose to play these. We try and dabble in your stuff, but you know we're doing this. And he finally switched to Marvel, but it was after none of us were playing. And I still have the matches recorded, and I'm gonna upload them at some point. But I make my other two fighting game friends. I've said this before. I make them quit playing Marvel in the same night. I make both of them quit playing because they just get tired of Virgil and how honestly easy it can be for him to win a game. And I'm not denying that it is. It's just I really enjoyed him. I liked him when they announced him. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, like another Dante. Because I played Dante in Vanilla. So I was like, okay, I'll try this guy. And he just happened to be probably the one of the best characters in the game. He's top three easily, probably the best. You know, it's really... Who would be better? Zero? Maybe Zero. I don't know. Probably still Virgil. Virgil's probably the best character. Honestly, which is kind of crazy. And it's funny because the only reason it's really even debatable that he's the best or not is because he has just one glaring weakness and that's like a lack of air mobility outside of Devil Trigger. And so any multi-layered or really good incoming mix-up on him usually gets him because he can't do anything about it he can't like hard drive out he can't double jump he can't air dash he can't teleport out of it he just has to take it like that's the only reason he's not just overly dominant is because he has to sit there and just get whooped by all these crazy incoming mix-ups that people have but anyway so 
you know, our friend was like, he kept asking me to play Marvel, and this was a year after I had stopped playing, because my friends quit, and then I quit, so I was like, I got no one to play with, I'm really not interested anymore, because none of my friends even want to play it, like, they were, they didn't enjoy the game, they talked shit about it, and I was like, okay, that's fine, I'm not judging them for doing it, it's like, that's their choice, they can do that, but it's like, I play games like that to play with my friends, and if they're not playing, then I'm not going to play, it's just as simple as that. Because I don't have the time to get super good and go to tournaments anymore. And so I don't. And... Our friend... Kept wanting to play, like... I can't remember what the actual game name is, but, like, the acronym is UNIEL, or whatever. Under Night... In Eternal something, or whatever, I don't know. It was an anime game. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's so good! And it's like... If you know the fighting game community, you know that anime games will um they'll come and go like they will they'll start they'll get a lot of hype or whatever and then people are like oh my god and then they'll just die they just die off in like two months and that's just always what happens with them and so oh dog barking but then I never stick to them you know and so he got into Marvel, he wanted us to play Marvel, and, whatchamacallit, he, uh, so he's asking to play, and I couldn't, like, he asked me to play, he asked everyone to play, but then he was asking me to play, and then I tried to, the first week I tried to meet up with him, I couldn't, and then the second week, like, halfway through the week, we were gonna play on Friday, and then on Facebook Wednesday or something like that, like the Wednesday before, he... I'm not saying this is Facebook drama, it's just Facebook was kind of like the means to how this happened. I mentioned something. I can't remember what I said. I think I said I wish people played Hearthstone or something like that because I started watching... Because I stopped playing Hearthstone for a bit and I saw like some... Uh, just like a tournament or something like that and I was like, damn, it makes me want to get back into it. You know? And then... This friend of ours, I'm trying to kite around warmth, by the way, because I don't want to drag them into it, but he comments on my status, and he's like, yeah, I wish people played fighting games with me, but people don't like me, so he said something stupid like that, and I was like, hold the fuck on, and I said, dude, I've tried, I said it very nicely, too, and I normally don't give into whiny crap like this, and I just said, hey, man, I know you feel that way, but, like, I I've tried to play with you, I just, I don't have the time to devote to getting good at them, and a personal philosophy of mine is... If I don't have the time to put in to get good at something, especially a game, I don't want to play it. Because I'm used to being at least decent at the games I play. And it's just, I haven't been able to be really good at a game in a long time because I don't, I can't sit down and play it for like a long, long time. The last time I recently did that was actually Destiny. I put a lot of time into Destiny and I got pretty good at Destiny. You know, I was able to go into PvP and I could get at least like a 1.5 kill death to like 2, like plus 2 or something like that. And that's not saying that's amazing, but it's like it was decent and something that I could always do well is strategize. Like I can understand map flow and where people are going to be and what spots they like. I take track of what gear people use. I take track of where they stay at. Like if someone uses a shotgun and camps a tunnel, I know where they're going to be. Just... Like, I keep track of all that, like, that's really easy for me, and so... Why did... What? I had an overlap there, and I don't know why. That's weird. Oh, because I was supposed to cut that run out. Oops! <laughs> oh, well. Um... Yeah, that makes sense. This is the one we kill him in, I think, but... So... You know, I, I played a bit of Destiny and whatnot, but then... I'm getting sidetracked my friend jumps on there and he's like you know people won't play with me like he puts it on us like we don't like him like that's what he tries to do and I have had a few people like that in my life where they like to just be too fucking dramatic about that where they're just like oh well you know just you know people don't like me I can tell who doesn't like me or like when I ask you to do this or when I like they get really passive aggressive and shit and they'll just be on Facebook like I can see which people are really my friends and who is just tolerating me. It's just like, just fucking stop. Just stop. It's like, we're busy. People have lives. We're not... You know, it's like... 
We're all in our, like, mid-twenties. You know, we have... Shit's happening. We all either have school or work or girlfriends or boyfriends and... Some of us have kids. You know, not me, but, you know, some of the people have kids. It's just like... People are busy. I'm sorry they can't drop anything just because your life is really empty and, you know, come hang out with you and stuff like that. Like, when people don't hang out with me, I don't go... That's another reason I have YouTube projects. When people don't hang out with me, I don't go on Facebook and go, Man, I'm really lonely, or... I don't text my friends like, Hey, I'm lonely, what's up? You know, talk to me, maybe we can hang, and... You know? I don't do that. When there's no one around, I'm actually okay with it. I'm very okay with being alone. Like, I'll watch something that I've been wanting to watch, I'll power watch like a season of something or an anime, or I'll make videos, or I'll play stuff, or just, you know, I have many different ways to entertain myself. This is all before doing work that I need to, like homework or tutoring or whatnot, so it's like, just, I don't know, I know how to take care of myself in those situations. And so I told my friend, though, I said that, uh, I was like, you know, I, I realized I was trying to play with you. I said, I know it's kind of hard, so I'm sorry about that. I was like, you know, I just, I explained myself, I was like, I, don't, I just really don't have the time, I hate explaining myself, I was like, I really don't have the time to put in, but I told him, I was like, you know, I'm trying, or something like that, and then he went, you say you have no time, but you can make 90 episodes of a Dark Soul Let's Play, lol. And the lol is actually important, because these people do that as a fucking out, so whenever you call them out, they go, I was just joking, I said lol. Clearly. Clearly. It's like, no, you're pissed off. But you were trying to, like, disguise it, like, in the most stupid, obvious way possible. It's like, I see your tricks. And... I was so irritated when he said that. And I said, for your fucking... Well, I didn't say fucking. In the immortal words of Dane Cook, I did not say fucking. I could have got blown off right there, too, by the way. I was actually very... Clutch. I was very aware of that when I was standing there. I was like, oh, he either knocks me off or he doesn't. And so this is where I have the pattern down pretty much. It's just like two hits, make him stomp, switch legs, two hits, wait till he jumps. I can probably get a few more, but I want to conserve stamina. Even with the shield and Claranthe, I just I want to make sure my stamina's up. So you can really see this pattern at work. He should stomp here. You just run over. Yep. So, see? It's really good. But anyway, so I told him, I said, hold on, dude. My priorities are school, work, my girlfriend, and then, honestly, YouTube. I was like, that's my hobby. I enjoy doing that. That's what I do to unwind. That's what I do to keep busy. It's, like, that's my thing. That's just, I enjoy doing that. It's like, I don't know how else to explain that. And, actually, it was very aware of getting crushed right there. And so, he didn't say shit after that. He didn't talk to me for, like, three weeks. I didn't care. I was so irritated. And he talked to one of my other friends, apparently. Because he talked to me, like, later on, he said, Yeah, he came into Skype, and he's like, Can you believe what Adam said to me? Like, trying to make me the bad guy. My friend actually had my back, and he said, Well, you insulted, you know, his hobby. Like, that's what he enjoys doing. You can't, you can't do that. You just can't insult, you know, a passion of someone's and expect them to be okay with it, you know? But he was trying to make him... He was like, I was just fucking with him. It's like, that's he, that's what he said to him. Like, oh, he was just kidding. Like, you can't do that. You can't just say whatever you want and then put LOL at the back. And By the way, closing out bosses is actually very tense for me. Because it's really easy to just panic and go ham. Because you're like, oh, I'm right there. And, you know, try and do that. But in reality, it's... You really just got to take it slow. And right here, I was actually very scared. Because I was like, I could actually get hit right there. And as soon as he landed, I was like, all right, this is over. So. All right. Takes three. So, that was cool. But yeah, so, I didn't really talk to him or play with him. I was very surprised I got a soul of a giant. It makes sense, because you're supposed to get five, I think. And, yeah. So, I was just annoyed with that. That made me think of other people in my life. I cut those people, like, dead weight immediately now, too, where it's like, you can't, uh, we're going to the triplets next, by the way. So, in, like, two seconds. Okay. So... Yeah, the... Oh, I started the door. I found out you can actually kill these guys. I don't do it till later. Like, I, I figure it out in the next run, but you can kill those little statue assholes. Like, you, I shoot them. I thought I read somewhere that you can kill them with a club. Man, is it tearing up my frame rate? I'm hoping that's just the Vegas preview and that's not what's going to render. 
This fight's actually easier than I thought it was going to be, too. The whole point here is to keep it... You really just want to keep calm. And I hate that as a meme. I hate those stupid-ass shirts, but... It's really just... Playing footsies with them and just positioning. Like, I'm just chipping down whichever one gets close. I keep moving so I don't get hit by the great bow. Try not to get guard broken. The only thing that's really dumb is this guy, the Alva Knight. When he two hands his katana, he still he staggers me with one hit, and it's really obnoxious. I don't like the like the rules of combat. I think I said it in the last video, but I definitely read it. Like, read the comment, too. Some guy was like, the big problem is, like, you don't really understand the rules of the, uh, the combats. Like, some attacks have hyper armor, and it's not really obvious which ones have hyper armor. And so you just get flattened. Some of them automatically, you know, stagger. Some don't. Just really dumb. That was actually really dumb on my part. I shouldn't have... I don't know why I emptied my stamina into him. I shouldn't have. And then I panicked, and I just get killed. So... And they back up. It's like, you think you're safe, and then you're not. It's just really annoying. Yeah, so... I think I summon people for the next part. Like, I summon the two phantoms. Oh, Facebook. But I summon the two phantoms just to help me clear out the area, because I was just so... I didn't want to do the area. But, anyway. Yeah, so... I don't know, I just... I don't like when people try and guilt trip you for doing stuff. I don't like when people go... Oh, poor me, and, you know, play the victim and stuff. I just, I don't, I don't enjoy that, so I just, I try not to deal with those people, but anyway. So, yeah, other than that, though, I mean, I had to get that off my chest, you know, and otherwise, things have been, you know, pretty good with me. I hope things are good with you guys. I've been, I was playing Destiny a bit. I'm trying to play Hearthstone. I want to play Druid in ladder, but it's not a good ladder deck right now. Some people were saying it's going to swing because it's like Zoo and Hunter, like Zoo Warlock and Hunter and Warrior are like probably the top three right now, like that are most played. And Priest can actually deal with all three of them. Like Priest, if it gets decent, like if it gets some kind of board wipe, like Akanai Circle or Pyromancer, pretty much that. You know, and like maybe one or two other things. Like Cabal is really good against like aggro decks because you can just snipe some, you know, low attack minions like Harvest Golem or Nurubine Eggs and whatnot. Or Haunted Creepers, Totems, you know, so it's like. And Shaman's another popular deck, so it's like Priest beats Shaman pretty cleanly. Priest. Unless Priest gets complete shit draws, Priest can usually beat Hunter and Warlock. And. Priest is designed to go for the long game, and so Warrior, which is designed to grind you out of the game, like Control Warrior, where it's like, I'm just going to remove all your early game shit, and I'm just going to drop legendaries each turn and beat you. It's like, Priest can still fight them, too, so it's like, Priest is a really strong deck, and so people were saying, especially I think, like, Applejack, he was saying that Priest is probably going to be the, it's probably going to be the new meta deck right now, because it counters those. Because, I mean, you have good matchups against pretty much the top four decks. You know, it's like the lower ones are surprisingly rogue. And Priest still isn't bad against rogue. And then Druid, Priest actually isn't that good against Druid. And then Paladin, and no one runs Paladin because Paladin is apparently ass right now. I don't know. When I was watching Hearthstone, Paladin was really good. And then I stopped watching Hearthstone for like two months, and then Paladin sucks all of a sudden. I don't know. So... He was saying that, and he's like, so I'm going to start playing Druid, because Druid's really good against Priest. And Druid can still beat these other decks, it's just... Like, they have a difficult time with Warrior, I feel like, and then they can kind of beat the rest, but they need, like, Taunt Givers and stuff, so... But anyway, I was really enjoying Druid, and... I might still play it on ladder, but... If my goal is to rank up, I think I'm just going to play Hunter. Because I find Hunter fun. And I find Hunter a little easier to play than Zoo. People always make fun of Zoo, or it's like, oh, it's no skill, you just put down all... Like, 
What two drops do I put in what order? Like, that's the joke people make about Zoo and shit, and... It's actually pretty... It's not easy. Honestly, because you have to decide how much you want to commit to the board. Like, if they have, like... I don't know, like, Brawl, or Swipe, or... Hellfire, like Control Warlock's really good. I completely forgot about them. Control Warlock's insane. And so with Zoo, it's really tough to maximize a bunch of low drops with things like Dark Iron Dwarf and Abusive Sergeant to punch through like Giants or High Mains or Sludge Belchers. It's really tough to maximize that consistently. Like, you'd be very surprised. So... And then, like, Hunter kind of has the same problem. Hunter is still really good, it's just Hunter doesn't have... Uh, Hunter doesn't have a reliable way to draw cards anymore. Because it used to be Buzzard Unleash, which was really good against, especially, like, Zoo Warlock and stuff. And anything that put, like, three... And Shaman, like, anything that put more than three minions on the board, it was usually really good. And... You can't do that anymore. Like, the best you can do is, like, a couple Loot Hoarders or... Some kind of shenanigans with Cult Master and Unleash or something. Like, you can kind of do it in reverse order. But, yeah, it's. It's its only real setback because someone said this, and then, and then I kind of noticed it after they said it, and I completely agree. It's like, if Hunter just plays on Curve, which is like Mana Curve, like, turn one, you put down like a one mana cost. Thing, turn two, two mana, turn three, three mana. Like, if you play on curve, you're usually really good. If you can curve from, like, one to three or one to four, and then high main on six, you're usually in a really good shape, so it's really hard to screw up in that situation. I ditched the summons, by the way, so don't worry. I just used them to help me clear out this place. But, yeah, so... Yeah, I've been playing Hearthstone, and... Destiny, and I was actually kind of salty about the raid for Destiny because I had never done it, and I didn't want to find friends online to do it because no one plays Xbox One with me, really, except for like one friend, and so I was like, oh no, I just won't do the raid, you know, whatever, I don't need the stuff out of there, I don't need to get level 30, I don't need the gear, it's like, I have a couple good weapons, I can play PvP, you know, I can have fun that way. And I actually made a couple friends just doing... I was actually in town. And... The only part... I really thought I was going to die this attempt, honestly. Because this started off so bad. But I really like... That these guys actually don't have a lot of life. That's like the one... Nice part. The Havel guy actually heals. That's the, annoying, that's the only really annoying part. But it's still not too bad. I mean, they each have, like, I don't know, was it, like, 3,000, 3,500 life? That's not, if that, that's not a whole hell of a lot. The, it's funny, because the first time I did this fight, on camera, obviously, like this time, in uh, this video, I didn't have a problem with the archer. I actually zoned her pretty well. I think she might have hit me once. And when I play this time, I actually get sniped by her so much. So I really, or is it a boy? I can't remember, but... Yeah, it's actually a big deal. So I was trying to do the same thing again, but the archer's actually really good at moving. Like, this fight would be really easy if it was two-on-one. And the only thing that makes it incredibly, or potentially difficult, is just the fact that the NPCs have those stupid cancels. And I was actually looking online after I made this video... And I was reading Game Facts posts and stuff like that, and people were saying the same shit. They were like, "I don't like the frigid weight or frigid outskirts because it's just dumb for a lot of reasons." I agreed with, and I'd already felt. They were saying that the reason this fight's even hard is because, you know, and like phantoms are hard is the same reason I said. I'm not saying that they copied me or I copied them, but it's like we came to the same conclusion. It's just because they can just cancel shit. It's it, they don't abide by the rules of the game, and it's just dumb. But that we actually, if you guys don't remember, we actually went with this setup 
of like this axe and the shield and the armor. Like I actually went to the setup because I couldn't do this as a mage. And so it was actually nice to come in here with the setup that we had practiced for and actually win. Fuck, dude, I think I got a double hit on that. I want to say that either the backstab can crit or it can hit twice. Because you saw that she just went to half. Like, it looked like it hit twice. Like, it went down a chunk and then the same chunk or something like that. And it had, like, the 644 damage. So I don't know if that was, like, a glitch in my favor. I don't know. But yeah, so I was playing Destiny. And I, mean, I made one video. I'm going to make another video off of that. Maybe, like, one more, but... This is where I thought I was going to die, actually. I thought he was just going to pop down and get me, but he actually didn't. And I was sitting in town, and a couple guys just kept spamming me invites. Like, they actually sent me four in, like, a five-minute period. And I acted like I didn't see them at first. I just kind of sat there, because I usually don't take random invites like that. And then finally I started moving and then they sent me another one then I finally messaged one of them and I was like what are you guys trying to do and they said oh we're doing the nightfall and they were both 27 they were warlocks and I was playing my hunter which was 27 so I was like alright fine because it was actually a really easy nightfall as the nexus and I feel like that instance is really easy and it's really short and it took us like three or four tries to get through it and I was really sad that I didn't kill her here actually and maybe it's a boy, I can't tell. I'm sure someone will correct me. But once we did the Nightfall, you know, we got it done. They both added me and they were, you know, they're saying nice things. They didn't, they thought I had already left the party because I was trying to leave. Like, I was setting up everything. Like, I was setting up to leave. I was going through the menus and they're like, man, I'm really glad that we got a quality third like that. And they're like, oh yeah, he was so helpful. And I was like, oh yeah. I was thinking to myself, I was like, you guys are so nice. And so I've actually been playing with them a little bit. And it's funny, it's like, just like that, when I move, you move, they... They already have a lot of friends that play, so... All of a sudden, I log on one Sunday just to look at bounties, and I get an invite from them. They're like, hey, we're trying to do Vault of Glass. And I was like, okay. I'd never done it. I barely read up on it. I don't know anything about it. At, the, at that time, anyway. Well, really anything substantial. Like, I knew the names of the bosses, I knew that there's a Gorgon maze, and I knew that you could cheat a couple of the bosses, like, that's all I knew. And I knew that oracles were something. And we actually had three people in there that had never done it, and they invited one of their friends who had done it, and the other two, my friends or whatever, that I you know, started playing with, like, they had both done it to a point, like, they haven't cleared it, but they kind of knew what was going on. And so this guy was explaining the... One guy was explaining the whole raid as we were going and how to do everything. And he was doing a good job being raid leader. Like, he wasn't getting pissed off. He was very encouraging. You know, he was giving tips. He was trying strategies. He was splitting people up. Like, he, he was actually doing really good. It was really fun to actually play with someone like that. And he... Like, it went from me not knowing how to do the raid to mostly me and that guy carrying the raid, because I have a lot of WoW raiding experience, and I hate saying a statement like that. For one, it's WoW, but two, it's like... I, I, I do say it in these videos, and it probably doesn't sound like it. I really don't like talking about myself like that. I don't like going, oh, I'm fucking dope, here's why. I don't, I'm not saying that I'm fucking dope when I say that, but it's like, I have, I have experience in that situation, so... And that's actually something I said in the original audio of this episode, was that I really wish I could be good at games, but I don't really have the time. But even if I don't have the time to get super good, like, I don't... What I... What takes me the longest to learn are, like, the, the hand skills, like, you know, using the controller and stuff like that, like, in a shooter. It's being good at shooting people and stuff, you know, like actually aiming precisely. Like, that's what takes me the most practice, but in terms of strategy and planning and understanding mechanics, I pick those up very quickly. And so, that's why I could raid effectively in WoW and then in Destiny. I saw the fights, like, once or twice. Not that they're really complicated, but, like, I was able to understand the mechanics really quickly 
And so that's what really helped me. This guy should know that you never just do an R2 like that. I mean, Havel, you should know better. You don't just throw out R2s. Come on, dude. Um, I was actually... Ooh, you have three Dragon Bones. That's nice. That's cool. And so I think... Why did I split this here? Oh, I fast forward because I just stand here for like two minutes. But anyway, so... Yeah, the... Yeah, the raid was pretty fun, and then we get to the last fight. Ugh, had a little little coughing fit. My throat's getting really dry. Been talking for 45 minutes straight, so... But yeah, when we got to the last boss, I felt really bad because we had two people who were just not pulling their weight. And that's really detrimental in a raiding situation, or... I'm surprised I never saw this before, and I almost died getting this. I felt so stupid. Looks like you just get petrified. But yeah, the, uh... These two guys were... One was 26, one was 27. They both had blue auto rifles or something as their weapons. And, like, one purple and, like, blue armor. Like, they were not, for the most part, blue armor and shit. Like, they were not geared. I didn't realize I came back out the entrance, like, but they were not geared to do this, and I don't like using gear as a crutch or whatever, but it's like, it was noticeable because they were not able to kill things fast enough, or stay alive long enough to, like, help us succeed. And we kind of got stuck on the last boss for, like, an hour and a half, and then the lowest level person left, like, the weakest link left, and then someone else left, and then we pulled in two more people, and then we actually cleared it in, like, three more attempts after that, because we actually got a few good people. Like, we had a lot of good people in there at that point. I would say, like, five out of the six people that were there were actually pretty good and doing a lot of stuff, so I was really happy with that. But that's why I was happy. Like, I'd never done that raid before, and then when we end the raid, I'm, like, I f I'm noticeably doing the most work. Like, I'm cut, like, I'm picking up a lot of slack, I'm making a lot of plays, and even though I've never um, played the raid before or whatever, I was able to still understand, I was going to be really sad if that was a mimic, and it killed me or something like that, but I was still, like, I didn't know how the shield worked, I didn't know that you could block the boss with the shield, and people were just picking up the shield and coming out of the portal or whatever that you have to, and if you ever know the fight, you know, you go through a portal, you pick up a shield, you go through the shit and you come back out with it, but, um, yeah, people with the shield were just jumping around, and no one was standing with the shield, and I, this is dumb. I don't know why I think to do this. I don't know why I think to do that. So, <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. But the, we actually get a hex here, I think. I didn't read this, so if you want to go to the Dark Souls 2 wiki, go ahead and read the description on this. I'm assuming it's like, Magic Great Sword or whatever. It's Dark Great Sword. Pick it up. Yeah, so. But you know, the shield makes a bubble, and your team can shoot through the bubble, but the boss can't shoot into it, so you just stack up in the bubble and blow up the boss. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. And no one was doing that. Not a single person was doing that. I was trying to do it, and then finally after like two attempts, I was like, guys, or I, I, said, so I said to someone, I was like, hey, use the shield, and he's all, well, no one needs to be cleansed. I was like, no, just block. Just block with it. I was like, what? And he's like, oh, shit. You know, and then everyone just stacked up, and we won that attempt, you know? So it's like, just, you just gotta pay attention to what you're doing. It's not hard. But, yeah, so. I didn't get anything from the raid, by the way. Well, no, I got the accessory. Like, I got the hunter cloak. And that's it. I didn't get the, sp the sparrow. I didn't. I got the armor shader, which is ass on a hunter. And I'm showing how to get here because I killed myself by accident, but yeah, so I didn't get anything. I just got shards and stuff, and so I'm hoping maybe I'll do it again. It's it's pretty fun. I want to go through there with a competent team now. Just honestly, just for the sake of time. Like, I'd rather go through there and it take like an hour and a half or whatever than it take four hours like it did the first time. But anyway, so... Yeah, I was kind of playing that. I'm really psyched for Dragon Age. It's coming out next Tuesday. I am going to stream that. 
So twitch.tv slash shufflefm. Follow me. Find me. I will explain. Like I will uh I'll post when I'm streaming it and whatnot and I'll upload the archives to YouTube and stuff like that, but I mean you know, come by. It should be clear. I'm gonna do it on my Xbox One. So the streaming should be good. Maybe I can set up the connect and have camera. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see. Uh but yeah, so I'm looking forward to all that. And this is just the dumbest area. I can't do this area. I really tried, guys. I tried for you. I tried my hardest for you guys to try and do this area. I tried to enjoy it. I can't. I just can't. You, it's so slow going. The reindeers are so dumb. They're so infinite. And we're doing all of this to fight a double fight, which I already don't like. We're doing all this to fight a double fight of a boss we fought before. It is the most unimaginative garbage ever. And I can't, I just can't, I'm sorry. And it's honestly partly, I don't want to say that it's too hard for me, but I just don't enjoy doing this. I mean, obviously it kicks my ass, so I it's difficult for me. But the reason I don't want to do it is because I find it difficult. The reason I don't want to do it is just because it's not fun. It's not fun to get... It's not fun to get jumped by random stuff from out of nowhere that you can't see, and it's infinite. And it's not fun to have the stupid gimmick where it's like, oh, I can't see for 30 seconds at a time. Like, that's... That's not fun. It's just... You know, oh, I can see it on the sound. Yeah, so, I guess we should start wrapping up in a minute, because this is going to start closing up. So, I can tell my voice is starting to go. Starting to go. You guys are probably hearing it, too. The Actually, let's get some water real quick. Let's take a break. Yeah, so let's let's talk happy stuff. So I need to give some shoutouts. Rykos, sub program, Usopp King, I don't even know if Usopp King still subscribed to me, but he hasn't commented on one of my videos in a while, but he was always really cool. Uh who else? If I forget your name, I apologize. There's been a few people that have been really cool that have been commenting and kind of following the series and all that. I have a new person kind of following up with me. Red Bull gives you wings. He's actually really cool. He's been watching not only this, but my Skyward Sword Let's Play, and he's given a lot of good tips on that too. So I was really, uh, I was really thankful. You know, that's that's cool. I, I like the interaction. I like talking to you guys. So I, I like when you, uh, you know, have stuff to say. So I just, I wish it was more often. You know, you guys have really interesting stuff, and. So, Dark Souls may be ending, but obviously I'm going to have more stuff. <laughs> I'm partly expecting a dip. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to lose like 10 subs or something like that when I say this is the last episode. Everyone's going to be like, well, got what I needed. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I have a couple videos that I'm working on for Dark Souls 2. I just have to get everything together. I have to make a couple situations happen too. Like there's one I'm gonna do about parrying like an, another player. Which I could use a creature, I could just parry a creature, but I don't want to. Like that's that's boring. I, I wanna be parried or parry a player. And then I'm gonna make a video that I'm I think is gonna be hysterical. I don't know. That's just me. I, I I feel like I find things funny that people, other people don't, so, <laughs> but I need to profess my love to Rhapsody of Fire and Luca Turilli. I love them. I've talked about them numerous times in my Let's Plays. I've used their music before, you know, so if you need some very epic fantasy symphony metal, please go check them out. I haven't listened to Rhapsody of Fire's newest album since they lost Luca. I think Luca is the backbone of that band. People disagree with me. 
but I mean, you just you listen to their newest album. I've listened to, like three songs off the newest album for Rhapsody of Fire. Sounds like a step back from when they lost Luca, but Luca doing his own solo stuff has like kind of a similar sound. So it's like you can tell that he was the driving force behind the songs. But at least that's what I feel. And let's see. So Dark Souls is ending. Oops. Skyward Sword is still going. That game's actually pretty fun. I think you guys should check that out. I think you guys would like it. I mean, if you like this, I do... I actually do more in Skyward Sword. Since it's a little more laid back, I can make more jokes and just be silly. I give the characters little impersonations and whatnot. And I still do the same stuff I do with Dark Souls. Like, I make little editing. I make jokes here and there. And, you know, I try and do funny stuff like that, so... I mean, just... I feel like you guys should check that out. I have, you know... I'm trying to promote my other stuff because I know a lot of people are here just for Dark Souls, but I have a few other series I feel like you guys should check out. You might enjoy. And if you like MOBAs that aren't League of Legends, go watch my numerous Guardians of Middle Earth videos, which I had fun doing those. And this is another like mini kind of ego trip, but I guess this is kind of the overall thing. I miss being good at games. Because I was pretty good at Guardians. I beat all the top players at some point. I actually have a match recorded that I slipped in against a rival YouTube channel where this guy copied, I, I swear he copied one of my builds. He copied one of my build videos and then did it himself and then tried to act like he did and he's like, I don't even know who that is. And he always had more success than I did and I was pretty salty because I made better videos and that's what bothered me. And I couldn't stand listening to his voice. So I was pretty it was pretty jelly on many levels. Cause he made his channel like a few days before I made mine for guard like I made mine for Let's Plays, but like when I started putting Guardian stuff up, he did it first. And Um So I kinda missed out. And he shot up to like eight hundred subs or something like that in like two weeks or something, and I was like well, I'm sitting here at like 70 at the time. I was like, fuck, dude, if I was just a couple seconds sooner, like a couple days sooner, I could have been... I could have had an established fan base right off the get-go. And he doesn't even make videos anymore, I think. So, that sucked. But I felt really good because I... ended up... I would never fought him before because he played on PS3. And they started playing on Xbox because the PS3 community died. And I never played him. I somehow never got matched up with him. And then one day I was playing with three of my friends, not even a full team, my like three of my friends. And we ran into him and a full like a full team of his. And I knew all the people on his team. Like I'd played them before, like they're top players. And we ran into them, but we didn't know we were playing them. And my team picked joke characters, we were just like, you know, we're fucking around or whatever. And then we noticed it was them, and we're like, fuck, you know? And we almost we almost won, I think, I, but we got kind of stomped. Like, near the end, like, just because we had really bad picks. And then we queued immediately, because we knew we were going to get them, because it was Elite Battlegrounds, and there's hardly anyone playing in that, especially teams. So, like, okay, if we queue now, we're going to get them again. And so we made real picks. Like, we picked our best characters in our best positions. And I'm not going to Oh, I got so sad right here. This is when I just decided, I'm like, I'm done. I can't even... I can't do it. But yeah, so we ended up going back, and we didn't completely stomp them, but we beat them. And it was 4v5. Like, we had a random guy on our team, and he was not doing, like, amazing, so... And I snuck that match in. I had no possible way to use it, especially because I didn't want to, like, get controversy, like, hey, I beat you guys, you know? But I slipped that in at... in my PC review video, but... I was pretty good at that game, and I actually kind of want to go stroke myself by watching some of those matches again. I, I like I miss being good at something, but I can tell that here I'm just wrapping it up. This is just like stock footage while I run around and do stuff. Like this was what I was gonna do for the intro before, but then I was like, you know, I could just I was like I should be human. It would look better if I was human, so that's what I did. But yeah, so thank you guys, thank you all of you. A lot of you guys have been really cool and supportive and have followed me. I don't know how you found my channel or this series, if it was through YouTube or GameFAQs or whatever. I, I don't know. But thank you. If you 
want to see more stuff, I have more stuff coming. I mean, I'm not going to stop. So, uh, Chrono Trigger Blind is coming. Um, I'm going to upload a couple other Let's Plays like Super Metroid Blind and Bioshock Infinite. And I'm going to finish Skyward Sword really before I do anything else. I'm going to make a couple other videos here and there, and then I'm going to stream, stream Dragon Age. But yeah, I'm really glad that this series actually had some pretty good success. All things considered, like a lot of my other Let's Plays didn't get like a ton of views, so I'm really glad this one took off. So thank you guys, and you know, feel free to follow me on Twitter, and that's not so much just to go, you know, check out my stuff, you know, see what's coming down the pike, you know, like that. It's just follow me on Twitter, or comment on these videos, and just you know, say what's up, you know, I don't mind talking to you guys, so, if that's just something you're curious about, like, hey, you know, what are you working on, or like, how's life, you know, I'll talk to you guys too, it's, you know, it's cool, but, yeah, so, this is when I decided to go human, yeah, uh, I don't know, I can't really thank you guys enough, and it's kind of weird to end here, because there's no, like, credits to roll through, I should have just went and killed Nishandra one more time, that's what I should have did, but, yeah, so Dark Souls is done, until there's a DLC. In the future is going to be Chrono Trigger, Skyward Sword, Super Metroid, Bioshock Infinite on hard mode. Like, I actually do that on 1999. And I do the scavenger hunt at the same time. So, like, I do the two hard modes at once. So that should be okay. And then I'm going to have... I'm going to upload some fighting game stuff, like my Marvel matches that I have with my friends, because we were decent. And I'm going to upload those at some point, and I'm going to do a couple Destiny videos, Dragon Age, just stuff, you know, stuff's coming. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if DLC comes out, we'll be back. But, until then, it looks like we're kind of done, so say goodbye to the the Shuffle character who kind of went mage and then went whatever because they, you know, screwed the magic, but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you again, guys, I can't thank you enough. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you later in something.